Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Redacted One with another video. And this video will be a RAM upgrade on my computer. I get 2 gigs of DDR2 RAM. Uh, it's 800 megahertz, 6400 um, PC2. Um, it is like smaller because the dude said that it's supposed to fit in a smaller computer, so we'll see if that works. But without further ado, let's get this started. All right, so it's a screw that's it's actually two screws that's holding the case on. So let's get those out. Just have to do put those right there. It's actually another screw I had to take out on the inside. It's on a total up to three gigs. After I put that two stick in there, all right, now you should be able to take it right off. It shouldn't be dusty or nothing in here because I always keep it clean. Got a nice apple logo right there. If you can, up oh, there it is. All right, this inside of it. Um, you really can't see. Let me actually ground myself first. All right, now you have to actually uh, push the DB drive up this way. So you have to take this off first to get the uh, the slots are actually under it. Well, it's one that's not, but it's one that is. Yeah, so in order to get to it, you have to push this up. So let's take this off the front of it. Just tabs one, two, three, and then you just take this screw out. It's just one screw going in there. Extremely easy. Let me actually show you the screw right there. This one, and then the board. I mean, the um slots are right there. Like I said, you can you can't just uh, slide it in there unless you break it. So, all right. Uh, so we're just gonna take this out. I actually forget to open the RAM one, but we're not actually really because I'm not about to put it in. So. Leave it in the case. Not get image. All right. Now you can just push this right up. You should just be able to push this right now. Like you don't even have to take it all the way out. You just push it up a little bit. You don't have to take the cables out. It's all clean right there. Pretty clean computer. That's probably the best I can get it. But like, the other stick is normal. This one is like micro. So let's we'll see. Hope this. Hopefully this works. Not try to tear. I just be back when I get this open. It's a plastic case. Right, so here's the RAM right here. Uh, it says. Kingston, um, everything else is saying that I have. So, the other stick is a Samsung. Yep, it's Samsung. So let's take this out easily and let's match the notches up like that. Yep. All right, let's open up the net tab. It's two tabs, like on any normal motherboard or logic board if you're using a Mac. It's still the same thing, but Apple calls it logic board, so just gonna do what they say. Um. All right, so let's just slide this in. That's what she said. Oh, this is too small. Well, it's not like small, so it don't fit, but you just can't have to get it all together. So, duty drives blocking. What a uh, case, but we're gonna see if we can get it. This, the one that came with the computer out, and put that one in. Now I'm about to put the one that came with the computer back in because um, it just felt kind of awkward uh, trying to get it that this is bigger, like I said, so it really. Kind of felt awkward for my fingers to get down inside, and the uh, bay, the hard drive, and uh, Oscar drive bay was blocking it. So now that one in. So let's go ahead and slide this one in. Shouldn't take that much. Okay, so I get both of them in. So now I'm going to go ahead and slide the hard, I mean, the optical drive back in. All right. It shouldn't go back any further. That's when you know that it's the right spot. Go ahead and screw this into the bottom one. Move this cable out the way. Okay. Does this give you? Let's get like that. Something like that. Take two. Let's go ahead and get this screw in. <laughs> everything's let me check, make sure everything's in. So I don't get no blue screens or black screens. Everything's in. That's in. Clip clipped. Make sure it don't fall out. Fan. Remove it. And then I just one more check. I guess that's it. Now let's go ahead and get the casing back on. First, what I'm gonna do is take the um the grill with the front part of it and slide it on one. You should be able just to slide it into the holes. Um, there's three holes right here. You slide those in. 
like that because that's like hook shape and then you should be able to just push it back on don't be afraid to uh, break it because you're actually not boom and now let's go ahead and get the um cover on that took me at least about 10 minutes because that was just a i never did a um ram upgrade and b it took a lot of pressure just to get it in i didn't know it really took that much well i did once but it went in much easier in my laptop just to see if that parabook ram will fit in there don't try to push it in if you you should um Take out the other ram and try to uh, measure the notches. To see it line up. Okay, how do you get this off? Talk to the camera and pay attention. All right. Let me. Uh, I'll be back when I get the screw on. Okay. Now I'm to screw this back in. Finally, been eight minutes already. Let's hurry up. I'm probably will. I probably will show it booting up. Uh, note to this video, I did turn off the um, the GUI when you boot up Windows, you know, um, you know the loading, it should say Windows XP or the little Windows flag, I took that off. It actually saved about like at least four seconds um, booting up. So, but I may turn it back on because I know it's going to boot up faster now. Because it's kind of scary just looking at a black screen, you know. It's a lot of life on this computer. And this is pretty much my own computer. The, that my laptop over there is not. There. Fast. Alright, let's get it hooked up. Alright, so now it's hooked up. I'm about to press the power button. And let's hope for no blue screens or nothing. It's on. No beeps. We'll wait for the um, beep. To, it beep. Oh. Let's see if it works. Let's get. Oh, I didn't turn the monitor on. Wow. Wow. Alright, so like I said, I took the Windows XP loading screen off. And it actually saved at least about three seconds worth of life. So, but like I said, I may turn that back on. Because it's scary just looking at the black monitor. One day I may forget and punch the computer or something. Oh, it's booting up. It's a go. Alright, let's see if we get it. And then we'll get better speed or something. I can actually really tell if it's fast. Oh, yeah, that's really fast. It's good. And let's go ahead and check. Um, go to my computer and see if it detects it. It's loading up. You can see the um, icons in the corner. It's loading up pretty quick. Wow. Three gigs. That it made that much of a difference. You know, um, I actually may do that extra one gig and do four. But I don't know if Windows like speak can handle that. I don't know. Windows Seven is really shit going on there. Once I get the one, you buy the CD, which is a hundred dollars. But Windows XP is doing fine for now. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the mines here. Ooh. It's loading up everything pretty quick. How do you say? Do say, wow. I did overclock the um the graphics chip, but I did it too high and it started blue screening, so I had to go into safe mode and uninstall the uh, overclocker pro um program. So I have to reinstall it, and I am gonna still overclock it, but not so high. I mean, I do it like on max settings. I went kind of crazy, but it started blue screening. So, uh, I'm going to do it again, uh. Did we get much of a performance boost? Let's see. You actually really can't tell the difference. Actually, it's like, just, maybe it's just because everything's still loading up. I have a lot of stuff loading up. You try to play combat on it, see. Go open Photoshop. So where I was on. Yep. Alright, two point 
with 75 gigs of RAM. Yep, it did identify it. It's working. Let me take you off the tripod. It'll be kind of smarter. Two point seven five gigs of RAM. Yes, baby. Got to close that. Uh, one point six to one. And I know that sucks, but I went, I've been trying to find a dual core um amplifier to fit in that computer. The most I can probably get is one point eight gig of uh, hertz. But at least it's dual core. So, all right. I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And this is a round upgrade. Um, I make sure you comment about arms in a different video. So, and yeah, some people may say comment arms suck. It really doesn't because A is free and everything that's free doesn't suck. Uh, I want to try to get Call of Duty Modern I mean, not Modern Warfare. I don't know, that's not going to run. Uh, Call of Duty 4. Well, actually, yeah, that is Modern Warfare. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace and subscribe.